Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So it's the first of the year and we've still got, believe it or not, we've still got some meat chickens out here. This is a group of birds that we had ordered back late last fall because every once in a while we have folks come out to the farm and they want a live chicken to be able to process themselves. We actually had that happen on a couple of occasions. So we got these guys. These are some Jackies um, and we've been practicing kind of a day range model. They've got a chicken tractor in there, but we've got this netting up so they can kind of get out and wander around and scratch around for bugs and grubs and whatever they can find this time of year, which there's typically not a whole lot of. So they've been on this spot for a little while. They've not completely burned it up, but it's getting pretty brown. We're getting a pretty heavy manure load where the chicken tractor is. So today, me and JW, we're just gonna set up a new, uh, a new paddock and we're just gonna move these birds around. So hang out with us for a little bit and let's, uh, let's see if we can give them a fresh spot. JW and I are getting ready to uh, move these chickens. And we looked up here on the hill. We'll see if I can zoom in. I have to move the camera around a little bit here and make it work. It's a roving horde of piglets. So this is the 11. That's the 11 that were born during the real cold rain that Sonner got so mad at me at, and we ended up putting, we ended up taking them in the house and then putting them in the brooder. But they're out and about, just checking everything out. And it looks like Mama Pig is with them. Pigs out on the farm, imagine that. Maggie, 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 and Reuben, Reuben, Reuben. Flipped it twice.
crazy night. Sophie. Hey, Steph, I'm going this direction. Where did you go up at Yeah, okay. So these birds were out here in the cold whenever we had all that like zero degree weather and we had put a bale of hay, just a square bale of hay, in the chicken tractor with them for warmth. Chickens are really adaptable to cold and they do, they do fine. I mean, you know, these guys, we didn't lose a single bird during all that cold weather, but we put a bale of hay in with them and I don't know how well you can see it. Kind of bedding pack we got there. So I think what we'll do is we'll just, we can just kind of kick this around, can't we? Yeah. I mean, it's carbon. It'll yeah. be fine. Um, we'll just kind of kick this around, spread it out a little bit. It's so thick, it, that won't even compost. I mean, it, it, it will now, I think, or it'll break down anyway. Fork or something, don't we? couple of quick things about how we manage. Um, first off, we've got just some long trough feeders. They get free choice. We fill them once a day, make sure everybody's got plenty of feed. And then we've got a uh, drinker on a float valve that goes to one of our um, hydrants that we put in back last summer. So they've all, they've got continuous water as the chickens drink it. It just refills and super easy management uh, on these birds. So this ends up totally going against everything that we want to practice because our goal typically is to have meat chickens, except for turkeys, um, have all of our meat birds off of the property by October the 1st. And here we are, 1st of January, with meat birds. But I think the thing that it does show is that you could raise meat birds over winter. You're going to have a little bit more of a management um, challenge in terms of keeping water flowing during that cold weather we had to we ended up having to turn the water off and carry water out put it in a bowl doing that a couple times a day to keep the birds watered um, and then we added some of that extra bedding in that chicken tractor just to give them a little bit of heat and that seemed to work okay the only problem with that is hay it, you know hay's going to compact so if you're using hay um, for any kind of bedding particularly on chickens um, their manure is just going to compact that and you're not going to, it's just going to, you're just going to get a, a manure pat is basically what you're going to have. Um, so we're just going to, we'll have to go back and take a fork and kind of spread some of that hay out. But these guys look good. I mean, they're ready for processing. They could be processed now. We're going to advertise them as, you know, live, ready to process meat birds for folks that like those. We've got some folks of different ethnic cultures close by that, you know, they like to process their own, their own animals. And, uh, so we'll advertise to them and see if see if we can get some interest and move these guys along. But it's also nice to have them out here uh, on the pasture. 
th that circle that they were in, this circle now, we'll have some really thick, green, pretty grass come spring whenever everything starts uh, popping back out of the ground. So, But anyway, I think that's going to do it. Like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.